Today we're gonna talk about the Answer 12 Pro from Secure It Gun Storage. It's a pretty cool safe, but there are some downsides and you probably won't hear about those anywhere else. So just make sure you stay tuned. And without further ado, let's dive into the safe and take a closer look at what the Answer 12 Pro has to offer. This is the Answer Lightweight Model 12 Pro. It's not very deep, but you can fit a lot of guns in here. It doesn't protect for fire or water, so I'm kind of inclined to call it a gun cabinet. This is called a lightweight safe, so 400 pounds. The dual doors are amazing. These doors go wide open. There's this handle here on the inside. Reach in, grab the lever, and then swing it open. You've got these steel bars that go up and down. So this is how you'll close it up. It makes a pretty secure lock that action in the hole. One of the biggest downsides I'm gonna tell you right now is this gun safe is made in China. There's no reason why this couldn't be made in the USA. And I actually didn't realize this was made in China until I received it. I guess I just assumed based on everything that I had read and heard that this is an American company made in USA. This fits in here perfectly and has the capacity that I want. Plus I would have lost out on like $400 of shipping, I believe. So fool me once, shame on you. You're never gonna fool me again. <laughs> Secure it gun storage is not gonna get any further purchases from me unless they make some of their products in USA. I think it's Gallo Tech has like gun storage cabinets. That might be something to look into. Uh, I was a little disappointed. You spend 2,500 bucks and it doesn't come with the battery. Normally it just has the keypad and the handle. I chose to put one of these little adhesive lights. I wanted to have opportunity to see the keypad if the lights went out. The plaque for Nostromo, which is the commercial towing vehicle in the original Alien movie. So definitely a geek moment <laughs> for me uh, without those lights in there. It's actually really hard to see what you're doing. So purchased a two pack of these magnetic little lights and you can have them on off or auto so they have a motion sensor. There's three outlets and two USB ports. If you have night vision or communication equipment that you want to charge while it's in the safe, then that's super, super cool. You can do that. I have two Smith & Wesson shields and you just get these little pegs. It's nice because then you can just put it in the barrel and it is coated with a rubber silicone. And then I have the magazines and holsters and stuff. This is from MTM. MTM case guard cases. When you're ready to use it, you've got it right there. It's nice and organized. So I've got my Smith & Wesson Glock 19X and then a Glock 17 right here. The most impressive thing is the organization. So you can literally organize this however you want. It's all a griddle, griddle, oh my God. It's all a cradle grid technology. So sky's the limit. I spent a long time trying to decide like how I want it and this is what I decided. I've got some shorties right here and then I've got some longer guns on the side. I've got some ammo storage on the bottom so I think it's pretty cool. You also get these hooks. There's four of them. I've got a couple on the outside holding like bags and stuff. I'm gonna be doing a review on the behind the head MSA Swordens. Actually, I think they're just called Swordens now. I'm gonna be using these a lot uh, for the review and so I like that I could just hang them there and I've got them when I need them. I just picked this up from LA Police Gear. It's a little EDC frunk, I think it's called, a front pack, a frunk. And it, it's pretty cool, it has a holster inside and so, so this is not just for my long-term storage of guns, but kind of like an EDC area. So if I want to swap something out, I've got it right here before I head out the door. The doors can close with the magazine in the gun. I just kind of like the idea of having it on the side. What I ended up doing was taking magnetic keepers, mounted it on the side, and I've got an AK magazine. It works really great. I also was able to do the same thing on the other side for my Savage 308. And Lancer mags have just enough metal on them that they stick to a magnet especially once you start putting stuff on the outside here uh, you may have to make sure that it doesn't get interfered with one thing I did notice is if you have a flashlight, you almost take up two spots because the flashlight kind of sticks out. I have a ton of gear in here, so I don't really want to go through like absolutely everything. I do think it's cool that you have the stock bases. The capacity says 12 long guns. The long guns have to be shorter than 55 inches with the base or 
shorter than 58 inches without the base. It comes with these bungees and you know, you can put them over the top of the barrel, but I actually found it to be quite tedious. So I just tucked them back underneath the little shelves in the back. Final thoughts, if you guys are looking for a safe that has the dual doors where you don't have to fight to get to your guns, I think this would be a good option. Overall, it's a super cool safe, I have to admit. But if you can find a safe that's American made that fits your needs, I'd go that route. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.